Nacho Average Tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Nacho Average Tabletop. I'm Zach. I'm Mac. And I'm Pepper. And today we're going to be going over our top 10 favorite components in games. We all decided our lists kind of separately, so I don't know what kind of parameters everyone kind of went by or what you decided to choose I think for he's components. going to cheat. <laughs> So, there's, there's, some a that you, there's a couple of mine that you might say are cheating or might not. I don't know if you consider it a component or whatnot. But then I kind of, I think my list was mainly like which ones I thought I used the most of as well in the game. So this is like 10 of my favorite ones plus like the order that I think they're useful in. Oh, okay. Or most used. But you can use whatever you decided, what you I thought. I shrink mine from favorite to least favorite. That's fine. That's yeah, totally that's fine. Well. Starting with 10? We are starting with 10. All right. Start us off. Ringmaster. Okay. <laughs> this one just kind of snuck on there. And it's, you guys could maybe guess it because I'm kind of a sucker for different colored pieces, especially wooden pieces. This is kind of an oddball, but... I don't but know what it is. I chose the peppers from Scoville. Oh. That is an honorable mention for me. <laughs> and it's only because of the ghost pepper. I completely forgot about these. <laughs> I'm Pepper. <laughs> so so. That, that you brought great dishonor to your name. <laughs> so I decided those because I just like how they go in the board and how they're used throughout the game. Once you put them in the board or you keep them to yourself, yours. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just really cool how they And I they love their different the levels. Yeah, mm -hmm. and how they're yeah. slightly different for each different type. Mm -hmm. And then the different colors, which um, works out clear. It shows you clearly kind of what colors you're working with. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just how you mix those colors in order to make the other ones, I think is really cool. So I really, really like those components. I'm a sucker for colored components, and that's <laughs> one of them. <laughs> Jesse? My Kevin. number 10 is the dice from Dice Forge. Ooh. Ooh. I just really think it's cool that you're able to customize your dice. It's not like you're just filling your bag and pulling something out. You're actually rolling your yeah, own you custom it. dice. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes the tiles are hard to get back off of the mm -hmm. dice. I would agree. But, I mean, at least they don't fall off. Mm hmm yeah, they stick on there really well once you get them on there. And, yeah, it's definitely a very unique yeah. one, for yeah. sure. It's very different from anything else that I've seen done with dice, anyway. Mm -hmm. My number 10 is the Explorers of the North Sea Viking Boat. Ooh, Ooh that is I good didn't one. think about that. It's only it one, it only, I mean, <laughs> it, it's one color, but they have some details on the boat, like the the shields that, you know, Vikings would carry. So I think it's really cute. The people fit in there. The mm -hmm. little animals fit in there. And so it's just really, it's a fun piece, I think. And it's different than I think than any of the other components in kind of the whole series. Mm -hmm. I don't think yeah. any are, yeah. are really like that. And so I, I really love those. No, that's yeah, those really cool. games each, they kind of all have a similar feel, similar yeah. components. Mm -hmm. But yeah, those definitely are. You know. And they're used throughout the entire game too, which makes them a useful component, not just to move not just boat. a component, not just to be there, but yeah, you actually use it the entire game, which mm -hmm. is a feel great pretty, pick. It's feel, a great I pick. I didn't think of it. I, <laughs> I did not think of that one. Last time I played it, it was on Tabletopia. <laughs> so you didn't get the nothing feel. near as good. <laughs> if it if they had like if they had done some coloring maybe or whatever, I think it would have moved higher in mind. But yeah, right. Yeah, it's so. it's a little blah, but it's. Still very sol fun. solid component, very useful. Yeah. All right. So I'll go to mine number nine. And as I said with the last one, I'm a big sucker for wooden components. <laughs> all right, Especially all right. when they are all different shapes. So you get the different shapes to represent the different things in the game. I don't know. So I'm just grouping these all together. Oh, boy. In Viticulture, I just oh. love the wooden components in Viticulture. I... When you set them up, it just uh, just so satisfying. It's I the, really love them. It's the the buildings only. It's the grande worker included. I include the grande worker. Okay. I guess I just include all the wooden components in it. Yeah, I, I think they're all time. really solid. Mm -hmm. They're not unlike you know like the boats you said where they're used for the. You're not necessarily using all the wooden components the entire game. I rarely use more than like 
four, five of them. Right. So that's a, that's kind of the reason why I have it ranked at nine. I really do like them. If I used all of them throughout the game a lot more, then I would probably have it ranked a little higher. But I do still like that they're all individually unique, and you can easily tell. Well, yeah. I usually cannot tell the seller and which one it's is it. It's the door size. <laughs> there's, yeah. a, there's a medium seller, the large seller, and then the cottage. I always the cottage struggle. door is off to the side. Yeah, the, side. the medium is a small door in the middle, and the large is the big one. No matter how many times I play the game, I can still not get it right. Every time, I'm that. always switching them on his board. <laughs> but, no. Yeah, that is nice. A lot of games would just put a cube over the title, small yeah. seller, mm. and pull that off. Mm. But, yeah, that is nice that they are all custom. Yeah, and I think the colors in that game that they use for those pieces are all I agree, I really, really like nice the colors, colors in that game. My number nine probably isn't on either of your lists because you guys are not a big fan of this game. Oh, I think I have a guess. Just because not a fan, I would guess Santorini. Something from Santorini. Torres. Oh, the Santorini buildings. They are nice. They are they nice. They are nice. They, they are nice. Are. Just pure bright white. They feel with a like nice thin blue plastic. cherry on top. They are, they are a little plastic. thin plastic. I don't a think bit. there's a but lot. But they do of work together very well. Pieces. Yeah. They, do, they, they stack. stack. They stack. They, they stack. stack. They're, they're they weight, stack really nice. They're they weight bearing. They're bunk. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bunk. Okay, I give you the credit for that. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. <laughs> to be fair, I've only played this game once, and I don't think I've really seen it since. So. I think the plastic's a little thin, but it does, I do remember that they do fit together they do really well. Really nice. So they stack. And they work, they work, you use them throughout the whole game, which is another good sign yeah. of a good component. I mean, once, once you're finished, uh, it's got a great table presence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks neat, yeah. Yeah. All right, my number good nine pick. is a duplicate, and I also put Viticulture. Already. Oh, I we got crossover. I specifically put the Grande Worker, though. Oh. Um, and that is because... Like, it's your favorite worker. It is my, <laughs> it is my favorite worker. It's a um, freedom. Yes, he does. And I, he's got two buckets, and I think the other workers in that game have one bucket. <laughs> I did not and know they had buckets. I didn't know they had buckets he's either. He's got a little hat on. Like, it's so cute. I don't like the shape. I, I wish that... I do like the shape. I, I don't know. I feel like... It could maybe be a little bit different of a shape, but um, I didn't know how to... I was kind of with you with, like, all oh, the wood pieces in it are very good, and most of Stonemeyer Games' components are excellent, and so with you, I like pretty much all of the colors on that game, and I, I love the size differential on the, the Grande Worker, or as we call them, the Papa Grande. <laughs> <laughs> so. that, is, that is a, a nice component. And that was one, like I told you, because I couldn't find it. I was trying to look for a shirt that had Grande Worker on it, but I could not find one. Yeah, it's literally, yeah, it's my favorite piece of that game. That's a good answer. I approve of that one. So, number eight. I don't know how you guys will take this as a component. Uh -huh. It's kind of, I don't know if it's controversial or not, but... Does it come I in picked, the base game? Yes. It's a base game. It's a game me and Jesse played very recently. It is the elevator in Colbert. Oh. oh. This one is... I was debating whether or not it should be on here because it's a little flimsy. But it, it Seems... does work, and for what it has to do, as much as little as you use the elevator, you use it enough, I think it works. This was probably an honorable mention. I mean, I was really looking forward to the elevator when we got that game. But <laughs> it, it has not blown my mind like I thought right. it would. If, if it was a little better put together, it would be higher on the list. I don't yeah. understand the way it's built. Like, they could have easily just slipped something underneath and had it actually be on a track as opposed to got to slide this piece in and then you can put this on. And it kind of fits, but it's bowed and it's weird. Right. Well, we got that in winter. Maybe it warped shipping in the cold. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll but even then, though, if it didn't sense. bend, you'd be fighting to get that in there. Yeah. Right. yeah, if it was a double-layered board as opposed to that, yeah. it would probably be better. But I still like what it does. I think it it works for what it does. It's not like you're always you know, having it fly off the board or whatever. I think once there you get it in any there, it works. Upgraded 
double layer boards or coal baron, let us know. <laughs> I, and I would have preferred to see, like, I have actual slots in that elevator. Yeah, that's because cool. Double layered elevator. I'm always knocking actual... those stupid blocks yeah, all actual... over. Always knocking them towards their contract. I don't know how they got <laughs> And I there. still lose. <laughs> Ooh, a nice, an actual metal elevator. Ooh, that'd be nice. <laughs> well, that's my Three number eight. Games. Whether or not they agree with me, that was that is on my, my number list. Eight. All right, Jesse. Oh, what the hell did I even have? Ooh, this one is a little different. Uh, this is not really for. It's more just for the art. I have the sushi go party cards. Mm -hmm. I think there's just a lot. I like the colors. I like. I think every single one of them is very, very adorable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know, there's not much to say about it, I just think yeah. they're cute. Yeah. I struggled with that one, because I, I loved it for the exact same reason. I think the cards are just starting to show wear, and so mm -hmm. that made yeah. me hesitant. But they are on, like, the menu pieces, too, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, no, yeah I, I was trying to think of which cards, when I was doing this list, which cards I liked the best out of the games, and those are probably actually some of the most solid cards. I really like the color schemes of all the different ones. Mm -hmm. They're really yeah. bright. Yeah. It's exactly what you want it to be for what the game is. Mm -hmm. It's just the perfect coloring. And yeah, I think the cards are wearing a little bit, but we've played it quite a bit a as well, too. So, I mean, yeah. we've, I think that's a good sign that, mm -hmm. but it, they haven't worn so much that it's a no. big problem. No. So, I, I agree that those are a solid that's choice. That's a good choice. Good choice. I did not have it on my list, but it is a solid choice. My number eight is another duplicate. No oh boy. I went with Dice Forge, the dice. Wow, got a crossover right there. I, I really like the artwork on the dice, but I agree mm. with Jesse that getting those things in and out is, is a pain. And I really struggled with where to put this one because I was like, oh, that just, that piece really makes me sad. But like rolling them they're heavy dice mm -hmm. and Chunky the other dice. thing is they're supposed to be two different colors and they're i have good eyes and they're like barely discernible and so yeah, it's true it's hard so I, I struggle with where to put it but at the end of the day it's just so unique of a component that i snuck it up to the eight. that is a very unique component very solid component <laughs> i i agree i think those same things those are the only issue i have with those at all is yeah just getting those pieces out yeah. and then yeah, the colors of the dice. I wish the one was just slightly darker than it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But overall, it's solid component. You use it the whole game, and it's the only game, like I said before, the only game I know that has dice that are like that. Yeah. I guess, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to come up, but I forgot the actual market and storage mm -hmm. for that game. That's the storage actually for... pretty nice as well. Right, yeah, how you store all those. Um, dice faces and yeah. then have that sheet to cover it and then the rubber band mm -hmm. thing is yeah. pretty awesome. Great way to store those. Yeah, for sure. Otherwise it'd be a mess in that box. Yes. Then it, <laughs> it might it's be like a different experience. It might not be quite as fun, but no, definitely a solid solid choice. Alright, Zach, what do you got for seven? What do we got for seven? Ooh boy. Seven. This is from a game that Michaela hasn't played, so I know it's not on oh. her list. Um, I have a guess. Uh, I, I ended up picking the miniatures from the Council of Four. I knew it. I've I, seen I those really, though. I really, really like how the miniatures look. They're, like I said, I'm a sucker for bright colors. <laughs> they're all bright colors, and the, <laughs> Are they, the way they're they not painted though, right? No, they're, they're just not one. painted. Okay. They're yeah, they're different uh, plastic colors, and yeah, I just really like how they look. It's I don't have any miniature games, but I think those just really work for what they are in the game. They're not used nearly as much as... I mean, I wish they were used a little bit more in the game. All you really use them for is moving out to pay for the different mm -hmm. areas yeah. on the board. So I wish they were used a little bit more, mm -hmm. but I think they're really solid. They all are different um, shapes or people mm -hmm. on them, yeah. which makes them really nice mm -hmm. in my opinion and it's a really cheap game so I'm really shocked at how nice the those miniatures are in that game for how cheap it is it's a great yeah. you know, mm -hmm. um, cost to product ratio mm -hmm. Jesse pepper uh, I am between two right here oh boy um, and not between two castles <laughs> not between two castles. Gotta have the best we talked about stone Meyer being you good, got good storage that, that is good storage. Um, I'm 
thinking something from Isle of Cats. Oh. Either the fish tokens or the cat tiles themselves. I had that one on my honorable mention, but that was because of the cats themselves. Hmm. Oh. I think those are both very solid choices. I just, I really like the blue. Got the little, the little the X over fish, the eyes. The five, the five fish, though, fish can look like a three fish. Mm -hmm. um, but I do, I just really like the blue. I mean, you like colors, I like that certain light colors. Blue. <laughs> that light blue is very, very nice. And I'm those, trying to remember if that's the Kickstarter version. I, I think don't those know. are Kickstarter so, only. Yeah. So I'll go with the cat tiles then. <laughs> because uh, they're nice. very I chunky, solid cat those tiles. Are and the art is probably the, the best tiles I've played with. I would have. Oh, yeah, no. Tiles for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're some of the best for sure. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the different. Again, they're cute. Pictures of the well, cats. Some of them, all of them look kind of demonic. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's a cat! That's another another great game, family game to look at if you're looking for something with a little more table presence or something that just yeah. kind of catches your eye because yeah, it's, those tiles are really nice looking, mm -hmm. really bright, yeah. colorful. Great. Another great choice by Severin. I'm 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 surprised. I really didn't think you'd have that many great choices. <laughs> I'm starting to think my list may be the worst list because <laughs> they have not agreed with my last couple. <laughs> It's okay, we're different. We, we can... <laughs> I had a quick switcheroo here at the table. Uh-oh. Um, Change I, on the fly. I moved my six to my seven. So here we go. My seven is now Western Legends, um, the figures, the miniatures in that game. Um, I think they are super detailed, um, really fun for the game. It's so cool to have somebody. Mm -hmm. um, they're not painted, um, and... You can't always find someone who matches up directly with your card. And that, yeah. to me, is the frustrating part because mm -hmm. there are a couple that are clearly, you know, the person on the card. But the rest of them is like, I don't know. But if I'm playing Annie Oakley, I want the Annie Oakley token or miniature. Well, I'm going to take it. <laughs> It's there. And I want to move her across the board. And I want to play Annie Oakley, and so that's that just popped in my brain, which is why I switched it out because I really do like the figures, but they're not painted and they're maybe a little flimsier than I would have liked. But yeah. um, you still move them throughout the game, get mm -hmm. to play with them. It's always fun to kind of set certain ones as the bandit or the sheriff. Um, it's, yeah. Right. So. Yeah, it's way better than having just like a a pawn or something mm -hmm. of a certain color and just move that around. The yeah. miniature itself is really nice and. Mm -hmm. Like you said, yeah, I think the thing that didn't uh, didn't stand out to me quite as much was yeah, basically that where I get I would think if all of them were painted and you know they matched up with the card, you could paint them. Mm -hmm. But if all of them matched up with one of your cards so that you had that exact person, I think that would make it. Mm -hmm. I would shoot it way up on the list for oh, sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, and honor and like honorable mention for me in this game was the poker cards. I really like those. I think they're just they're really nice poker cards. They're on they theme. I love the back of them. They're just really cool. So. Yeah. I agree, it's a solid deck of poker cards. <laughs> and much like you, but before we started here, I did flip my six and seven around, so oh. that Council of Four was originally my six, I moved <laughs> it down to seven. Oh. So my seven, which is now my six, are all the wooden pieces once again <laughs> in the clans of Caledonia. Oh. Those, I, those are nice. They all are different shapes, they're really solid. I I guess what I'm talking about is the player ones, but now that I didn't even think about it, but the other <laughs> other resources in the game are really solid too. But I'm I was just thinking of like the player board mm -hmm. with yeah. the wooden pieces. The way it works is just so solid. They're bright colors of the wooden pieces, mm -hmm. and yeah. as you take them off and put them out on the board, which looks really nice too with the background of the board, um, you're able to tell how much you get during your income phase, which I think. That whole thing to me just works together so well, and I think just the combination of that um, component of your own player board and the all the different shaped things or or components are all wooden components are really nice, in my opinion. I haven't played that game for years, but I, I if I remember right, there's like milk and cheese, mm -hmm. yeah. and like how do you think that compares to like something like Glenmore or maybe? the agricola copy we have because they are very similar they do and i i think so yeah i'm not talking about those ones i don't i wouldn't oh i'm talking about the so on your player mat you mm -hmm. have like a what is it like a cow a sheep mm -hmm. a cow yeah. 
uh, cheese factory thing, a yeah. brewery, and like five different ones on your board, mm. and then uh, two worker meeples. Hmm. I'll have to look at that one after this. I yeah. don't remember that. Because... I think those are really nice. The those other components nice. in it are really nice as well, but those probably do compare really closely to like Glenmore or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Glenmore too. But I really like the way they work. I like the way it works with the board. It's very clear as to what you have, and it just pops on the board itself to me. The colors they use for yeah, all those. those are very nice colors. Mm -hmm. Pepper? Um... You guys don't like this game either, but <laughs> oh. you cannot disagree with this. This is a great component. Amon Ray, the pyramids. Oh. What? <laughs> I really don't think that was a strong choice, but. Okay. I, I was, I was, I was debating. I'm like, they are Those pretty are solid nice. pyramids, they're, but they're not just like, oh, here's a wooden, wooden pyramid. No, they're they actual. Have, they have minuscule detail. They do. I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is a they're good choice. solid. <laughs> I wouldn't say they they deserve that level, but you are entitled to your own opinion. Uh, they they are good. I agree, Pepper. They are good. <laughs> they are a good component. Go ahead. Go ahead with your next pick. We'll see what you <laughs> think about it, Mac. <laughs> uh oh, it better be solid. All right. No, those pyramids are yeah. really nice. They've got. They, I could see them nice, possibly chipping, possibly, but. Oh really? Um, yeah, they are made of some stone or whatever, but... Hmm. So, oh, but, they really are stone? Yeah. Um, not sure what exactly, but... Yeah, so they could chip, but I think that would probably just add to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like, yeah, I guess I like the little, the individual box you can get, too, yeah. in that game. The bricks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And just the texture on those is really yeah, nice. Yeah, the texture is really cool. Yeah, and... I think compared to the other Egyptian games I've played, it's way nicer than anything I've seen. And I haven't played that many, but I like Agizia, oh, Emotab, uh, yeah. they don't really, they just use the wooden blocks and stuff. So yeah, it's not. Like if I want an Egyptian game or anything with a pyramid, <laughs> this the is pyramids what I want are in it. a lot better compared to that. I will agree with that. There we go. All right. Go ahead, it's a good Matt. choice. <laughs> All right, my uh, six, which was my seven, is now the Glenmore Two Chronicles Meeples. Because each one is a fun color, and they all have different, um, they're all different figure. One of them's mm -hmm. waving. Mm hmm they, I like that. Do you, would they be this high on your list or on your list if they didn't have stickers? The, that is the thing I was going to mention is the stickers because I have a love-hate relationship with that. Like, I understand it's a good way to make the game, you know, just a little bit more. And I'll be interested to see how the stickers hold up long term. Um, I think the stickers definitely push it forward because they have these cute kilts. The ones mm -hmm. I like to play have these cute little stocking caps <laughs> <laughs> with a little ball on top. I knew immediately when I saw that sticker <laughs> which one she would want to play. I mean, it, yeah, it's so cute and you are moving your guys all over. It really gives it that Scottish theme, which I think is just really an extra added piece to that game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Those are really... Another really solid maple. Mm -hmm. She loves her maple. She loves good maples. I love good maples. <laughs> it's a good choice. What do we got here? I'm to number five. Fiber. Any guesses? I go ka ching ka ching ka ching. Raiders wow. metal coins? The Raiders metal coins at number five. Wow. And I probably would have rated this higher because I love metal coins. I just love them. They feel so great. But the. the the amount of time you use them in the game mm -hmm. isn't a lot, or isn't as much. Yeah. I mean, you use them, you pay for the cards and pay for whatnot, but I don't think you use them enough for it to be considered the top one, but I just love metal coins. I wish more games came with metal coins. I understand it's expensive to make them, so that's why they don't. You have to buy them as an upgrade, but I just had to mention the metal coins and Raiders because <laughs> they're the only game I believe that we have that has metal coins. No, I think so, you're right. Yeah. Not a century. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, Century yeah. coin does have metal oh, nice. coins. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. My number five. What if I held up a single finger to you, Mac? <laughs> <laughs> Why 
Why this would song. you fuck her off? Uh, this ring finger. Tudor. <laughs> Tudor <Come> ring. <laughs> you are picking all the games she does you not like. You need to rearrange this list. <laughs> <laughs> this is going. This is going good to bad. You know we're going ten to one. Right? <laughs> yeah, you like my dice, swords dice. You yeah. hated everything else. <laughs> I wouldn't it's say gonna I turn hate. around here, Brace. It's I gonna turn I hate, around. But I feel, yeah, they're not my favorite. But this is why they're we do nice. this. They're nice. It'd be boring. They're good colors. Things. They fit on the hand. The hand doesn't stand up. There's, but they fit on the I hand. I think that's what. When they're I was like thinking stickers. about this. And when I was thinking about this game, I, I immediately thought those hands never stand up. That's why they're so not I just on the wrote list. it off. Those but hands are like not on the list. Stickers on the ring. Yeah, which I put on there perfectly. You did do a really good job. I wouldn't have thought they were separate. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, they got a nice, they're cut a little bit just in case mm -hmm. they are too small for the hand so you can stretch it out or whatever. <laughs> um, right. I thought that was nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they're solid. I wish, I would like them better if the hand actually stood up. But they are. Put them on your own hand. They just make me think of ring pops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to be able to enjoy that game again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like you have this plastic thing on your finger. If you can't put it on the it's hand. A good thing. It's a good it's thing. A good thing. It's I will unique. Say, I will unique. say, the plastic is good, and they have really good details on good the outer detail. edges of the mm -hmm. ring. So, regardless of how I feel of them, I think there are some good pieces to it, too. Mm -hmm. So... I won't argue too much on that. That's one. a good pick. I did not think about it because I, like I said, I, I wrote about it off it, immediately. Like, <laughs> wrote it off immediately. All right, my number five is size. V figures. Nice. I, Mini Mac. I love them, and I, I wouldn't say I'm like a big miniature person, but the fact that the details are so accurate especially compared to the player board you get with them like it matches like real like almost a hundred percent they're not painted which i which is what keeps them higher up on my list i'm not one of those fiddly pe person that wants to paint these but i know there are people out there who want to mm -hmm. and i just think they're so so unique you get tigers and yaks and bears <laughs> it's it's really fun and and the mechs are cool but i would say that their plastic is not not to the level that the miniatures are yeah. so i agree with that i just yeah the detail on those just, ugh, love it love yeah it. you might have just sold me i had side as an honorable mention oh because Throw it on that i originally was only thinking i didn't even think of the miniature people oh, i was thinking of the mechs thing. and i was thinking of the double layered board with all the nice wooden pieces i'm like well, I've already included Viticle. Oh, All the like... wooden pieces inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, I've already included Viticulture, and I like those wooden pieces a little better than the ones inside. But they're both still very solid. Mm -hmm. And I just was like, well, the mechs aren't, like you said, they're not quite as special. They're detailed. I didn't even think about the characters. Oh. Those are definitely solid those ones. Are, so. those amazing. Are those are really good. Uh, you really good got ones. a lot of minis. I there were too many minis. I just decided to not put any. <laughs> <laughs> too many minis. We don't have that many games of minis. I, I, I thought got, we got like three. We got um, what was it? Council of Four, Western yeah. Legends. Oh. Five, five, all the ones we've all, already named. All, all, all of those games. <laughs> Clank Legacy. No, that's fine. That's true. And honorable mention maybe coming up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, now we're getting into the good stuff. Yes. After all those, <laughs> to my number four. You guys might think this one probably deserves lower. Maybe, maybe not. Lower we'll see. as in better? As in worse. I don't, I don't know. I think but neither of you have I, said it. I think it's going to be the same as mine. You think so? I think so. I think it's going to be the uh, three-way crossover in this number. Maybe. Maybe not. Century Golem Edition. Gems. No. No. That was an. No. In general, the gems from like Hall of the Mountain King, Karuba, and Century were a, kind of an honorable mention. I think the the the, the Century are, ones are the best, but. They're just generic gems. That's wow. the problem. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's the generic <laughs> shape. It's just bigger. Okay. Which, Maybe I overthought them because I, I mean, played the Spice Road edition, which are just cubes. Oh. So these gems are just. 
a hundred times better than just the normal cubes. They're really good, and it's a great production all around, but I think we did have some of those exact type of gems when we were younger. I don't know where we got them, but they are a generic right. Yeah, I mean, if they had a little more shape. weight to them, they'd probably be a little nicer, but I think the, the amount of times you use because you're always trading them in and out, it's, it's a nice enough component that you're trading... It's better, in my opinion, for how much you're using them to have, like, those versus, like, cubes, like I said, in Century Spice Road or something else. I I just like the way they look. I like the colors. It just works with the whole color scheme of the game, I think. Mm -hmm. And that is why it's my number four. You've convinced me it's a great pick. I like the colors, but I still don't feel strongly enough that they belong over something uh, uh, over other stuff. That's where I'll, I'll leave that one. I agree with the colors and stuff. I just don't know that they're I would very much so want, integral to the game. I would very much want to put it on the list, but I, I don't know. I just couldn't. Yeah. Like I said, just, in general, the crystals for me are just from various games we have. Are, yeah. Are kind of... My number That's four. Fair. I think it'll be on her list. I don't know about yours. <laughs> Based is. on where I'm going with my list, I'm sure to thank you. I, There's no consistency here. I'm going <laughs> to finally win her over, I am sure. The trains and or buses in Ticket to Ride. I did think about them. They aren't an honorable mention and they aren't on my list, though. <laughs> wow. The this is what Jesse thought he was going to cross over I with me on. It pick. is not. <laughs> I think it's a good pick. It is. I think the, the Ticket noise to Ride... The they make. The, the, the buses in Ticket to Ride are too thin, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. they, the colors they're, they're, are decent. They're thin. The colors are great. Decent? They're not great. I love the purple. <laughs> that doesn't like the purple. I, I love the colors. The red Ticket buses Ride are great. Yeah. The red ones are good. Yeah. And I like the trains, too. It's just... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like know. the trains better yeah. than the buses, personally. Mm -hmm. I like them. I, I do. I just... I, they, there's just not enough there for me to put them on, I guess. It's a, it's a good pick. It's, it's a, a good, good pick. pick. You use it's them a, a lot. Yeah. You do. I, I think they look really good. I mean, mm -hmm. they do. you don't have to... I mean, they may be thin plastic, but you're not squeezing them and squeezing not them. Not unlike the ears. <laughs> right. Oh, no. yeah. Right. You yes. shouldn't be squeezing them. <laughs> <laughs> it's crushed. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. I think it's a good choice. It's I a good choice. a good choice. I just... Yeah. You didn't lose her on that one. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a is, You are hard to mine, find. Is there any, is there any reason get... it's so high? I don't know. I just probably guess it's got the nostalgia of <laughs> being true. one of the yeah. early games we played. Yeah. It's probably one of, for the early games we played, it's probably got, those are, that's probably the nicest component from mm -hmm. a game we played early. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I think, yeah, I think you will probably see if you think back through what I've told you and what you're going to see is you're going to see specialized specialized things that draw the game out is kind of where I was going with mine. But. Okay. All right, my number four is I don't think I'm going to get any argument at this table for this one. Oh, uh, be ready for it. Is, be ready. Be that it's not rated high enough. Stone Age, the leather cup, and the little dice. I love the cup. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it, but I'm like, I can't put that it on there. It is so <laughs> much fun, okay? It is so much better it, it, than anything they could have really come up. put the, you know what we call it, on their list. <laughs> okay, I can't help what you guys have called it, but... It's, it's, a, it's the only game we have that's actually come with a dice cup. Yes! So, true. It, and it's you, a solid dice cup. You use it every time in the That's game. That's true, and it matches, the, it matches the feel of the game. It's not like they just put a random dice cup in there. Like it, they could have just put something... And the rest of it is kind of, you know, your standard yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. But then they got that, that cup in there, and it's like... It is a hook. It's a hook. It does nice. hook you into the game. I like it. And, and to your point, it's a little nostalgia. Yeah. A yeah. little yeah. nostalgia. I was th when you said that, like the original games we had... That is actually, I was just <laughs> thinking that, I'm like, oh, you know, that the dice cup from Stone Age is probably the top one of the, the top ones yeah, right there, too. it's just iconic that in you my said mind, it. so. Yeah, uh, the, the gems from uh, Century Golem Edition are not uh, nostalgic uh, yeah. quite, quite no. yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday we'll look back. I doubt it. Okay, now this one, I think if you guys... We're fine including this one, where it could be a three-way crossover, but I 
I don't know if you did or not, because it did not come in the game. Oh. This is the only upgraded component we've had, and I didn't put this at number one because it didn't actually come originally in the game. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it probably would be. And that is the Quack upgraded bits. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just... They just make the game so much better, even though they cost the same amount as the base game. <laughs> they're just so solid, they're worth it. If you're going to play the game a lot, they're uh, they're one of the best components. Definitely worth it. They're so colorful, they're really nice. Um, mm -hmm. Like the original bits just wear away so quickly if you're <laughs> using them. And they, like when we got the herb, which is expansion... You could just tell, like, when you're comparing some of the chips, which ones were the original and which ones were the new ones because of all the wear on those. But because you're so sweaty, <laughs> going in and true. picking them out, it's so nerve-wracking. Yeah, and the originals they would they would really bunch up. In the yeah, and those bunched oh, up, yeah. and the this these these ones are thick enough that and heavy enough that they don't yeah, like you said, get bunched yeah. up in a corner, or stuck in a corner that you end up never drawing from, so then you get your mm -hmm. four blue stuck in a corner and you never mm -hmm. pull it out because yeah. it's yeah. stuck there. Yeah. No, the plastic, those upgraded bits on that are solid. One of my favorite components. I agree. I like the colors. I like the artwork. I I mean, I guess I'd call them an honorable mention. I didn't write them, but um, I didn't really consider them because they weren't part of the base game. But I think what I'm afraid of is I'm still nervous that we're going to see some wear on those. Yeah, and I feel like there's I some. Guarantee the, a I guarantee like guarantee. From I Pepper. feel like there's some on the garlic <laughs> that are already starting to show. So. How much are you rubbing those? <laughs> it's like you're squeezing the the buses. I don't know. I could be London. wrong. I, I could be wrong. I think that's just kind of the art style. Too. Yeah. It kind of looks like a grainy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Good choice. Good choice. Yeah. Finally, I, I did. I did not count those. But they would be on the list. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I crossed over with Michaela early, because it's starting to go down the path that I might not. Okay, my number three. This, I, I don't think any of you thought of these. Um, I really don't. Um, well, if we haven't had them on our list yet, we don't have many options. We do not play this game very often. Hmm. And I just looked at it earlier today, and were surprised by how great these components were. There are four of them. All unique. Forbidden Desert. Forbidden Island. Forbidden Island. Not desert. You're going! <laughs> um, the four treasures in Forbidden Island. I think there's like a winged lion, a globe that's mm -hmm. kind of crumbling, a crystal fire, and what the hell is the other one? Some blue thing. Yeah, it's a blue thing. They're not painted though, are they? No. No. But they're different colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you play it ever? I played it once, and mm. then Michaela don't do co-op after that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't use them that much, but I think they are really nice. Yeah, they're just, I mean, there's not much else to the game. It's just tiles. It's nice to have mm -hmm. something that pops. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like that's another thing where yeah, it just is kind of a hook to get you into the game. It's you don't really use them, but they are they are really they, nice. They do really feel like they're worth. Going out adventuring to find mm -hmm. that treasure. Yeah, I agree. Michaela don't agree. She don't agree. <laughs> I, I'll say this: I understand your reasoning and logic for them, and I think that it's a solid. Do I think they should be that high on your list? No, but it's your list, not mine. So, you know. We're wow. running out. We are running out. <laughs> we are running out of games to do a presser. I, well, well, okay, just, just hold on your well, hats. Well, they did have one crossover, so yeah. Yeah, they matched on that. Hold on your hats, because I think I'm going to throw out a com controversial one here. Uh-oh. And I think We're I'm going to be pounce. the only one who is going to agree with this. But that's okay, because I'm a no. strong woman. I am a strong <laughs> woman. So my number three is the volcano from Pompeii. I was actually debating that one. I, did, I didn't it, even write it down in my possibilities, but it, I, I was thinking about it for there, half a second. There's just not a lot to that game, and you throw that volcano on there, and it just, the game is just <laughs> so much cooler, so much more fun. The volcano is colored, and it's got bumps in it, yeah, and, it, it and you that's throw that's your detail. people into there, and it... <laughs> It's it's the best. So <laughs> that's why it's the, really the best. It's maybe not. <laughs> you know, I think it's a good. I think it's a good like plastic piece. I mean, mm -hmm. it's 
it, it has to bend so it's not like the world's probably longest lasting component. Mm-hmm. But I think for what it is, I I really love it. it what it gives to the game. Right. Yeah, I, I agree because yeah, it wouldn't be the same if you were just tossing people over to the corner of the board. And yeah. It's That's so what it's cool all about is not Vesuvius erupting. So it, it, it is very cool how it just you know, fits into that board and you just you put it there. It doesn't. The art doesn't necessarily match the rest of the artwork mm-hmm. exactly, but no, it's not. The <laughs> because it is looks kind old. It looks old, anyway. but then the volcano looks a little yeah. newer or more like a yeah. like a toy. But yeah. I, I think it. I think Someone right. it doesn't add really nice. Someone please give me new meeples for that game because we got to figure something else out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the cubes or whatever in there are not hexagony amazing. things. Hexagon, yeah, give me some people. Let's let's get that. I want to actually throw a person in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! Let's get to the next. Let's right, get to the next right. one before we get in trouble here, throwing people into lava. All right. Okay. We got to cross over on these last two. I I'm think, guessing I think that gonna... all three of us are gonna have the same one. As I'm debating right now whether I want to switch these two, oh. but I, I don't think I will. But we might. These last two that I say may be three-way crossovers. Oh. I think they're. I think they're all gonna. Be and I know the first one's going to be because it is. The Dice Forge, Dice Faces, or Dice. Mm. You don't think that's number two? That, that is number two Jesse and I by have a already, mile. We have already that placed high? these. It is that high. No. no. Yes, it is. <laughs> they are. That is the only game I know that does it. That is awesome. How about you really tricked else? me. I did not think it was on your list. <laughs> I know. I had you guys fooled. I knew it. I knew you had. How about everything else? That's why it's that too, because... Yeah, getting those pieces off isn't the greatest, and I didn't think of the color originally when I did it, but it they're solid. Drop they're it. solid. You use the dice all game long. Well, I'm sad that one of these is It's number two. It's yeah. a great number two. That's kind of It really is a great number two. It's a three-way crossover. I don't know how you guys can argue. It's kind of a disappointment yeah, where like it's ranked, but... Wow. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I agreed with both you guys, and you're both disappointed that it's a terrible pick. I think you could have... I'm taking it off my list. ...different there, but... Mm. Wow. That's I can't believe Sai that... wasn't even on yours, and Dice Forge Dice that Face are. Disappointing, Zach. Well, like I said, I forgot about the mm. figures. My number two, get ready to give me a fist bump back. Okay. The Dinosaurs in Dinosaur Island. <laughs> Pepper. Now, I now who had the better number two? Pepper. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the big yeah. dinosaurs from Dinosaur Island are higher than Dice no. Forge Dice? They're awesome. No, they're I not. love pink. They're exactly the same. Yeah, they're exactly the same. You don't have to sort well, them. Now then. you can buy a version that has three different. And if you would gotten the Kickstarter, it would have been different ones. But you don't have, then you'd have to sort them yeah. even more when yeah. putting it away. Yeah. It barely fits in the box as it is. Yeah. So. It's true. I just, I love that color. That's probably my favorite color. <laughs> that exact pink. <laughs> Neon pink. They just make me sad, though, because they just sit there facing yeah. one direction or the other. I think they would have I love the got, color, they, too. They might have made it to my list if they had been different shapes. If, if they weren't all the same thing, I think that's the only thing that attracts mm-hmm. it for me, but... They're really solid. They actually, I mean, they look like a dinosaur. Good material, really well. too. And, yeah. I like yeah. the plastic. Yeah. And I do like the color as well. It's the mm-hmm. only game that I think we have that has a neon pink mm-hmm. color. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's pink in some games, but not. Against the neon Not quite green that, too? Yeah. 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 It's a good pick. Yeah, not, it's not Dice Forge Dice, but. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Okay, right. Mac, go My ahead. number two is a crossover. You can't argue with me on this. And mine is the Metal Coins from Raiders. This high. This I, high. Where was where was <laughs> where were the where were the coins on your number five? Okay, so we were a little off here, but I'm mm-hmm. on, the Dice Forge we were seven. It's not that much farther yeah. off. It's like two off. Okay, so I get that you don't use them very often, but they're detailed. They're way They are very nice. They, they are very, very the nice. Game, and you don't see it very often. So uh, I I think it's great. I hate, I hate, I hate cardboard hate. coins. I hate them. <laughs> I, I, I hate, hate paper money. You know, give me a metal. <laughs> give me a metal coin. 
paper money is better than cardboard coins. Mm. And the cardboard coins in that series of games mm. uh, is the worst. Mm, I like, they got ridging. I like the ridging. Those and Sheriff <laughs> tied. Paper money is horrible. I don't even know how you... If that's Cold, number one on your list... Cold that is, Baron Paper Money! <laughs> if that's number one on your list, you are in some <laughs> trouble, Pepper. That paper money makes me nervous <laughs> to handle it. It's like cotton candy. It'll float away. No, okay, that's a good... That's a great pick. I will admit that. Alright. So we got our number one. Uh, and I think Pepper's got two that he thinks that this could be. I feel like Maybe. there's only one. I there's feel like there's only one. There's only one. There's only one? There's only one. There's only one. I feel like you guys might have forgotten about something. All or right. at least Pepper. What did you oh, think? yeah, because she has not played that game. Yes, she what? has not played the game. But she has Do unboxed. not tell me it's Brass Birmingham and those stupid poker <laughs> chip money. <laughs> the clay. It is nice. The so iron clay. theme. If anything, that should be in Western <laughs> Legends, then that is it. Go grab a stack of those. Drop them into your Are hand. you playing poker during that game? I suppose it could be. In Are you playing with cards in They game? should. Let's switch it, put it into Western Legends. <laughs> but I did not it. pick that. I picked the buildings in tapestry, the landmark buildings in tapestry. The landmark buildings in tapestry. All the buildings in tapestry. Yep, and the huts. And yep, the huts. and the huts. They're all extremely awesome. So detailed. The only thing is a couple of them don't fit the squares in your cities very well. Yeah. But overall, it's okay. the only game that I have. You figure it out by the second time you play with them. Yeah, it's the only game that we have that has that kind of detail. Every hut has so much detail. There's so much color, so much consistency. I know some Ooh. people Especially think it's overproduced, cat. but I think it, I don't think it's overproduced. I no. I like it. I'd rather have it that way than. I, like I would say games. I would say that some of the other stuff is maybe a letdown in comparison, like just those cubes. But they have to be mm, yeah. so multifunctional that I don't know what else you would do. Even the outposts, mm -hmm. I think, are yeah pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah. Whoever did those did a great job. I don't know if I know the name. Ron Brown might it's ring Ron. the bell. <laughs> Ron Brown is that the artwork? The art or the miniature sculptor? Oh, yeah, I don't. I guess I don't know. know. But, yeah, they're all uh -huh. extremely awesome. They're all, yeah, mm -hmm. slightly different. But, yeah, the detail on them is amazing, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. little biased because <laughs> Tapestry is one of my favorite games. I know there's going to be people out there that don't think they're anything special, but I think they're amazing. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. So it's number one on all of the lists? Yes. Wow. Wow! Three-way crossover. <laughs> Didn't see it coming at all. <laughs> I wasn't sure. When, I so, thought you were going to have iron clays in the top. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking about it, but yeah. It they didn't it even make really the fit. top ten. It's probably an honorable mention. Yes. I can't believe it's not in your top ten. Yeah, I, honestly. The, the, if the, they... The dice like, are like you number said, two. They don't, they don't... I don't know. They. You're right. They don't really fit it as much, but the iron clays themselves are really awesome. They're extremely awesome. They're very yeah. heavy. I just don't even like their color scheme. Wow. Doesn't it fit? It's a beautiful <laughs> white box with gold embossed writing, and you're telling me I got baby blue poker chips in here? Boxes. Wow. That... <laughs> I don't know. C comment below whether or not you think the iron clays and brass <laughs> are awesome or not, because they are. They're just standard poker chips with a different thing on them. My only other honorable mention that no one said, and I wasn't sure if it'd be said or not. But I really like the eggs in Wingspan. Yeah. Mm. That was an honorable mention of mine. Because, I mean, you use them quite a bit. They have the different colors. And with the expansions, you get more colors. They're not anything amazingly special. That's why they didn't make the list. But I do really like them. They look like you know, Easter candy that you'd eat, which... Dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> only component that I've ever tried to eat outside of the Azul stained glass with Sintra pieces. <laughs> Pepper, you got any yeah. honorable mentions? Um, yeah, those as well as the wooden dice in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And probably the dice in Dinosaur Island, mm -hmm. I think, are, those are really nice. Mm -hmm. sort of amber look. Mm -hmm. and also, Bunny Kingdom, the little bunnies and the cities. Yeah. The now that you say this, I am shocked that this was not on your list. <laughs> How bunny, did that not make your list? The bunnies are just a little too small. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I don't like the color of all of them. Colors are are decent. The yellow ones are hard. I like the pink. Yeah, the yellow's not the best. The black ones aren't easy to see either. Mm -hmm. And I think there there are some solid components, but it's definitely I don't know on the board. I don't. I don't know. It, like some components, it doesn't really give it as nice of a table presence. Mm-hmm. It kind of looks a little messy, mm-hmm. a little bit. Maybe a little messy, but I, I think it looks great. Yeah, they're, not, the they're not as refined, I think, as the cards and stuff. It's still a good, mm-hmm. a good show. Yeah. yeah, then last would just be a dark horse pick, the Ethnos um, player markers. I don't know. I think they're kind of cool. <laughs> no. Stacking. <laughs> No. Not the best colors for some of them, but... Horrible I think stacking, if was, horrible if storage. They stack nice. They stack, yeah. really ni- they stack really nicely. We're not talking about storage here, Oh, right? they fall over. They, you, the storage, you nudge them and they're done. Well, how, how tall are you getting? I've never seen you have a stack tall enough that it's going to fall over. Oh, I'll be done. <laughs> Don't even pretend. It, it, it does not fit that game at no. all, but if they, no. were used, if they were used in something else, they would be solid. If they were used in something brighter, like Sushi Go... I feel like they would fit that kind of color scheme a little better if yeah, you're using that. That would be much reason. better because yeah. Sushi Go tokens fall fall over all the time. Maybe you play your pawn. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. You can use those. The soy sauce. <laughs> soy sauce. Soy sauce. <laughs> I have two honorable mentions left. And the first one are just kind of the components from Everdale, specifically the berry pieces. Mm. But I also like the little woodland creature um, meeples. Most of them, there's one that's kind of weird, but mm-hmm. the little pebbles are cool. And... Yeah, it's got a, real, a lot of real nice ones. I was, I missed my opportunity. I was going to joke and say that my number one was the tree from Everdale, <laughs> <laughs> but I did not. I missed my opportunity. I forgot you guys threw me off. And the other one I have are the tiles from Lanterns. Just Ooh, because... I had that one written down oh. to consider. It's beautiful artwork, yeah. wonderful colors, they're different. It glows! How does it glow? <laughs> and then they've got those cool little How did I not write this down with all the colors? I know. It's, it's a really nice It's one. awesome. And, but I will say, Cards too. I am very surprised that one did not make it to either of your lists. And that is Root. I am surprised that none of those cute little meeples made it. Because it almost made mine, and I don't even like that game. But <laughs> those meeples are were, very nice, and I was uh, thinking that, but adorable. I'm like, I can't... I had so many wooden pieces that stuff All out the here. wooden <laughs> pieces of root. My whole, All I should have just done a, a, a list of my favorite wooden pieces from games, because I, I easily could, because I love them all. And that was one I was thinking. I was actually thinking. And, and I didn't look at all, I didn't go back and look at all the player boards. But I was going to put, as a component, the root player board as... A component, my favorite one, because I really love the artwork on it. I really love the, the artwork. The player board or the game board? The game board. Oh. oh game board. Player boards, Dinosaur Island, dual layered, is a very nice player board. It's mm. nice. It it matches the rest of the game, the theme of the game, but mm. yeah, I think it works. It's a mm. good, solid choice for a player board. We'll have to do a different video on player boards, because I can't think of anything right now. Yeah, I'd have to look at all of them. I'm going to... Gonna do my top ten wooden components here shortly. <laughs> you already know some of that might make the list. All right. Let's say goodbye to the nice people out there. If you're still with us. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it. Let us know what you think of our top tens. Do you have a top favorite component? Did we miss something spectacular? Are there games we have to check out because they have such great components? Let us know. Yeah. Anything to say, Pepper? Tell her how wrong she is about my list. (laughs) And keep on nibbling.